Claire Bloom, a renowned actress, has made a lasting impact in film and theater with her wide range of roles. It's hard to pick just one standout performance, was it her captivating role in The Haunting or maybe her portrayal in A Streetcar Named Desire? Everyone has their favorite, but each of her roles has its own special touch. Do you have a favorite memory or something personal to share about this iconic Hollywood star? We'd love to hear your stories in the comments. Keep an eye out as we're going to share more interesting and surprising facts about her career and life. Stay with us to discover these amazing stories. Claire Bloom's work in movies and theater shows her amazing talent and hard work. She has played many different characters over the years, proving her skills and showing how deep her acting is. She's not just a regular actress. She has a special way of making each role she plays stand out and be remembered. She's important because of how she has influenced other actors. Her various roles have motivated many in the acting world, setting a high bar for performance. Her theater work is especially noteworthy, ranging from Shakespeare to modern plays, showing her adaptability and dedication. Moreover, she played a big role in shaping the movie industry in her time. Her roles in classic films were not only fun to watch, but also helped movies become a strong way to tell stories. She added depth and meaning to her films, making them more than just entertaining, but also making people think. In an industry where fame often doesn't last, her continued success shows how truly talented she is and the lasting impact she has had on viewers and other artists. She didn't just act, she brought her characters to life, making each of her performances a special experience for the audience. In summary, Claire Bloom is an important figure in acting, known for her deep impact and unforgettable roles. Her career is an excellent example of success in both film and theater. In her early career, she took part in a screen test for the Blue Lagoon when she was just 15 years old. This was a significant step for a young actress, demonstrating her early promise and dedication to her craft. Although Jean Simmons was eventually chosen for the role, this experience was a vital stepping stone in her journey in the film industry. One of her notable roles was in Limelight, where she played the character of their Zat Perry Ambrose. Interestingly, during the reshooting of some scenes, she was not available. In her absence, Una Chaplin, the wife of Sir Charles Chaplin, filled in for her. This is evident in a specific scene where Una Chaplin can be seen lying in a bed through a doorway, portraying their Zat, after the housemaid informs Chaplin's character that his wife isn't eating. This instance highlights the unique challenges and solutions in film production. Additionally, she was also tested for the lead role in Roman Holiday in 1953. While the role ultimately went to Audrey Hepburn, the fact that she was considered for such a significant part at a relatively early stage in her career speaks volumes about her talent and the regard in which she was held within the industry. These instances from her career not only showcase her talent, but also her journey in the competitive world of acting. Each step, whether it resulted in a role or not, was crucial in building her career and shaping her into the actress known for her compelling performances. Claire Bloom's portrayal of Blanche Du Bois in A Streetcar Named Desire is often hailed as the pinnacle of her acting career. Her performance in this demanding role was so powerful that it kept the film running for eight months in London's West End, a testament to her skill and the audience's appreciation. Another significant milestone in her career was the publication of her book, Leaving a Doll's House, a memoir, in the mid-90s. This memoir offered a glimpse into her life and experiences, providing fans and readers with a deeper understanding of the person behind the performances. In Mighty Aphrodite, she took on the role of Amanda's mother, where she spoke just ten lines. Despite the brevity of her part, her performance left a memorable impact, showcasing her ability to convey depth and emotion even in a limited screen time. Each of these moments in her career reflects her versatility and dedication as an actress, regardless of the role size or the nature of the project. From her celebrated role in a classic play to her brief but striking appearance in a film and her foray into writing, she demonstrated a commitment to her craft that continues to inspire. Claire Bloom's life was a mix of her acting career and personal relationships. She had a notable affair with fellow actor Richard Burton, which began shortly after he married Sybil Williams. This relationship lasted for several years, during a time when both of them were becoming well-known in film and theater. In her family life, she married Rod Steiger, another actor, and they had a daughter named Anna. 
Anna was born in Los Angeles and later pursued a career in opera, showing that artistic talent ran in the family. As an actress, Bloom was known for playing a variety of roles over different times. She was in the movie Mighty Aphrodite and later in The King's Speech in both films acting as a mother figure to Helena Bonham Carter's characters. In the first, she played Carter's character's mother, and in the second, she was her mother-in-law. These roles show what her ability to adapt to different characters and remain a strong presence on screen even in supporting roles. Bloom's life and career show her acting skills and how her personal and professional experiences were deeply intertwined. Her relationships, family, and diverse acting roles reflect a life deeply engaged in the world of acting. In 2013, she was honored for her outstanding work in drama, being named a Commander of the Order of the British Empire. This award was a nod to her excellent work and dedication in the performing arts, marking her as a well-respected figure in acting. She gained a lot of praise for her roles in several famous stage shows. Her performance as Blanche Du Bois in A Streetcar Named Desire in London was highly acclaimed, showing her ability to portray complicated characters with depth. On Broadway, her role as Nora in A Doll's House highlighted her skill in playing a variety of characters. Also, her part as Madame Rainovskaya in The Cherry Orchard at the American Repertory Theatre in Boston added to her reputation as a skilled and versatile actress. A notable part of her career was in Hamlet, Prince of Denmark, where she played Derek Jacoby's mother. Even though she was only seven years older than Jacoby, she convincingly played a character much older than herself, showing her wide range as an actress. These roles and achievements show her dedication to acting and her ability to make a strong impact on audiences and critics. Her career is marked by a range of challenging roles, each showing her talent and earning her respect in both movies and theater. In 1982, she shared her experiences and insights into her acting journey through her book Limelight and after the education of an actress. This work not only reflects on her personal growth as an actress, but also offers a window into the challenges and triumphs faced by actors. It's a valuable resource for anyone interested in the performing arts, providing a first-hand account of the evolution of an actress of her caliber. Years later, in 2006, she took to the stage in London's West End, starring in six dance lessons in six weeks alongside Billy Zane. This play, set against the backdrop of a dance studio, allowed her to showcase her versatility and her ability to connect with audiences in a more intimate theater setting. Her performance in this play was a testament to her skill in adapting to different types of roles and mediums from film to stage. In April 2009, she made a significant appearance in the popular television series Doctor Who. Her cameo in this widely watched show introduced her to a new generation of viewers, demonstrating her continuous relevance and appeal in the dynamic world of acting. This role, though brief, was a significant part of her career, bridging the gap between her classical work and contemporary popular culture. Her journey through different phases of acting from stage to screen, books to television highlights her adaptability and commitment to her craft. From enlightening readers about her experiences in her book to enchanting audiences on stage and making memorable appearances on television, she has proven her ability to excel in various facets of acting. Her career is not just a story of personal success, but also serves as an inspiration for aspiring actors, showing the importance of versatility, continuous learning, and the ability to adapt to changing times in the world of performing arts.